Howdy, Mike here from Fastlane Fitness, and uh, I gotta show you guys this this giant bag of bagels. It's huge, okay? And uh, here's what happened. My wife uh, gets Groupons and things like that all the time for like this junk food and places we wanna go. It tastes delicious, but like it's not on the diet plan. I don't really wanna go, but anyway. So she had this Groupon for bagels, and she bought all of them. We've got family in town. Everybody's eating bagels for breakfast. I don't wanna eat them, right? But she got them, and so what I did is I was gonna go do my workout, and so I said, hey, uh, just you know, bag them up, I'm gonna go do my workout, and I'll grab one later. Um, and this is a strategy you can use, and I recommend you use, right? So I'm sure you've been in that situation where um, you're with other people, there's snacks, maybe something at a party, right? You go to a party or a happy hour and there's food and people are like, hey, you wanna try this? Do you want this thing? Um, do you want a slice of cake? Do you want whatever? Um, or maybe like you've got family in town that like this, you know, hey, I made this dessert, we're having dessert. Um, and maybe you don't wanna have it because it's not part of your plan. But people like try and guilt you into it and, and, and you shouldn't feel like, you shouldn't feel guilty. You shouldn't feel like you, you're, you should, you have to eat the same things everybody else eats. You have to do what everyone else is doing or that like you're going to upset somebody because you didn't eat their food. I mean, here's the deal. Like your grandma can make you a cake or something and just because you eat it, you don't eat it, doesn't mean you don't love her, right? <laughs> and and so like, it's something that, you know, maybe that's hard to explain for people, but an easy, easy way to get around this is to do what I just did. And that's to just say, hey, I don't feel like it right now, but I'll get some later, right? So if it's dessert, you might say, hey, I had so much to eat at dinner, like I'm not ready for dessert yet, I'll get some later. Or if you're at that party, like, oh yeah, I saw the appetizers, but like, I'm not quite hungry right now, but I'm definitely gonna go buy some later, go get some later. Like, which ones did you make? I'll check them out, I bet they're really good, you know? And you say that, and then people are like, oh, okay, cool, and they get off your back. Whereas like, if you'd said, uh, oh no, it's okay, I, don't, I have a diet, they're gonna be like, oh no, it's okay, just one won't hurt you, right? You don't wanna get in that situation. So instead, just say, I'll try it later, I'll get to it later. And then you just don't have to. Then you just don't have it. And nobody's gonna remember. Nobody's gonna be like, hey, did you get this later, right? Like if, if it's, um, you're at that party, they might say, hey, did you try my appetizers? And you can just be like, yeah, they were absolutely fantastic. You did a great job. I really enjoyed them. Like they don't know that you didn't eat them. You know, tell a little white lie, but like stick to your plan. Use this strategy. If you've got a bag full of bagels, you know, just, uh, just pass on them or say you'll get one later and then, don't have it if it's not part of your plan. So I hope you guys can use this strategy and it'll help you avoid some of those kind of like social eating situations that you run in occasionally. Y'all have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later.